going on there guys good evening the earth master here on this uh sunday evening january 9 2022 is the date uh, about 6 30 p.m california time the latest quake a 5.2 earthquake over here along the Kermadec trench where we've seen uh, quite the swarm and earthquake activity kicking up uh, following these two deep earthquakes here around the fiji islands uh earlier today Kind of talked about that uh, on the update video. We we're watching this region specifically for further movement. Always tends to uh, come up in that fashion, uh, so to speak, following deep earthquake movement. Of course, that deep earthquake activity up here into the Fiji, or just south of the Fiji Islands here. We've seen some really deep movement. Um, 602 kilometer deep, 4.6. Subsequently, activity does tend to ramp up along the Kermadec Trench following deeper movement up here. And uh, no joke, it definitely ramped up in a big way. And I don't think we're done with the uh, further surface movement either. Looking at a uh, swarm of fives kicking up here uh, around the Kermadec Trench with the largest one so far, a 5.7. Uh, but all this activity pretty much bouncing back and forth between the Kermadec Trench area and areas to the northwest here, Papua New Guinea, uh, along the southern end of the Philippine Trench. That's going to be this plate boundary right here. Uh, we were watching some movement uh, kick up into the uh, Kermadec Islands area. And then, uh, no joke, like literally a minute or two later, uh, we'd see further movement here to the west. Uh, and that activity has been bouncing back and forth like that all day. Yes, there's, what, how many, how many thousands of miles distance there? Quite a bit. But on a larger scale of things, uh, plate adjustment can happen um, easily, easily uh, in that type of time frame. And that many miles away so just uh down here and up here definitely i uh, was kicking up back to back seen a bunch of notifications come in there on the earthquake 3d app uh, that i have uh, just one right after another a minute or two apart from activity in the kermadec trench region to activity here along the philippine plate we did see some further deep movement here to the north along the uh, philippine plate where the uh, phil yeah the philippine um trench i should say a little subduction zone within this region uh, capable of producing some uh, sizable earthquakes and uh 4.9 at 232 kilometers uh, was a uh, pretty deep earthquake into that trench region so kind of watching it folks uh just uh whenever we see a massive amount of earthquake activity like that uh kicking up in two separate spots here it's something to uh, watch pretty closely the rest of the Pacific Ring of Fire up around the uh, Philippine or the uh, Mariana Trench region, Japan Trench northward, all very quiet. I mean, uh, unusually quiet to say the least. A little bit of activity into the Big Island. Not uh, anything new. In fact, this looks like a bunch of older earthquake activity from earlier, including that 2.4 uh, around the Mauna Kea area. Uh, that was from uh, this morning. And West Coast activity, uh, kind of spotty. But looking at the all magnitudes here, there's not a whole lot of red circles here. The red circles would indicate recent activity within the last hour. And so far, there's not a whole lot going on along the West Coast. Some movement up here around the um, geyser activity, south of the Clear Lake region, Mount Kanaktai area. Seeing a little bit of activity uh, pumping up there in that region. But overall... <clears throat> Uh, south part of the state all looks about the same uh, i haven't seen any significant movement really to speak of uh, in the southern part of the state <coughs> excuse me i'm getting better uh, hopefully tomorrow this will be over completely uh not a whole lot actually if you look at it not a whole lot of movement at all in the north american um, plate area even through the alaska region things kind of spotty uh, with earthquake activity over the last few hours. Puerto Rico region looks about the same, and the uh, uh, Middle America Trench all just showing activity from earlier today. Uh, this part of the globe, South American and North American region, just uh, awfully quiet here, folks. We did see some movement around the, um, the Greece area. Looks like they had a 5.5 and uh, a couple other fours kicking off here throughout the day today. A lot of pressure uh, and whatnot uh, working its way from this region to the northwest. Uh, but man, it's just awfully, awfully quiet here in the uh, North American plate area. 
I want to check out the trimmer movement. Wow, look at that. A lot of movement kicking up here into the um, southern end of the Cascadia and also up northwest of or north of Seattle area. A little bit of trimmer in that uh, Strait of Juan de Fuca area. Uh, so it's kind of a big, big, uh, kind of a big number there, 183 epicenters of trimmer. That's probably about the most we've seen here in quite some time. Uh, looking back over the last month or so, we had seen uh, a little bit of activity. It looks like we had 200 or so uh, back in early Dece or middle December as well. And the uh, towards the end of December, we had a few uh, epicenters kicking up there around the 200 range. But uh, it's been a it's been a been spotty here and there. And now it looks like a little return of activity in the Cascadia. Uh, no surface quaking to report in this region at all of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, the all magnitudes map uh, verifies that activity as well. Checking out the Earthquakes Canada map here, see if uh, anything has been updated on their side. And uh, not for sure what's going on here with the uh, Earthquakes Canada. Let's refresh this here. Hmm. Not for sure what's going on. They got some issues going on there at the uh, Earthquakes Canada map. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, there we go. Okay. Not a whole lot. Uh, in fact, nothing new prior to that 5.5 that struck there a couple days ago uh, up there near uh, the Canada area, Alaska region. Uh, northern end of the Cascadia looks pretty quiet, and the rest of Canada looks uh, quiet as well. Did have a... Uh, when was that? That was at 3.3 uh, about a week or so ago in uh, Ohio. The Yellowstone map here. Go ahead and kick this up here. Loss of data again. I'm not for sure why that's happening a lot. Seems like uh, intermittent data loss. We were seeing a little bit of swarming activity kicking up in the uh, uh, Yellowstone area. But uh, kind of hard to keep uh, keep track on it uh, when there's uh, data being cut off here. It's just automatically being cut off. Seeing a little bit of swarming activity uh, prior to the data loss here at Yellowstone. Uh, nothing significant, but uh, definitely some microquake activity kicking up there. Um, not seeing any further movement in the other areas of the park. It's just weird. It's just kind of strange. Uh, so it is what it is. And um, can't really... Uh... Well, that's kind of weird. Hold on a second here. You guys see what I'm seeing here? Just kind of a little, <clears throat> a little glitch, it looks like. Let's refresh this, make sure we got the most recent data on the map here, uh, I believe we do. Looks, uh, looks. Now we do. Okay, it looks like that was an older, uh, an older map that I was just on. That was kind of strange. Yeah. So uh, activity has regained. It looks like on some of the uh, some of the data stations here. Not for sure exactly what all that stuff is. Uh, let me look here. Yeah, there's still definitely a loss of data coming in uh, to the seismograph stations up here along the northwestern part of the uh, park. I'm guessing that this type of activity here on this station could be uh, some type of geyser activity, um, unless it's some type of other interference, but it uh, looks like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I have to look into that a little bit more. Uh, and some more details, but uh, something definitely looking kind of active over here, either geyser activity or or something else. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Other than that, uh, the rest of the park on these areas to the east look pretty quiet, not seeing any uh, significant signals of earthquake activity and whatnot. Uh, so that's kind of uh, 
about the best we can do in that area until they get the data back. But uh, definitely got to be on guard out here, folks, along the uh, Kermadec Trench area with all this deeper, with all this earthquake activity really ramping up here. A uh, couple fives, 5.7. These are kind of getting larger if you look at the magnitudes. Uh, so kind of definitely have to uh, pay attention to this region here pretty closely for some uh, possible larger scale movement. But then again, subsequently up here, we're getting uh, uh, some movement uh, concurrently at about the same time as activity down south here. Uh, so this little area right here could be another hot spot as well for some uh, further development. Meanwhile, areas up north here, extremely quiet is the word. Uh, what else we got here? Solar weather activity continues to uh, decline following last night's KP5 uh, index of some elevated uh, geomagnetic activity. Looking uh, still at a 50% chance of sea flaring. And uh, other than that, things looking pretty uh, quiet on the sun currently. A couple solar flare or uh, solar sunspots kicking up and some further activity along the far side of the sun. We'll see how this develops in the uh, coming days. What else we got here tonight, folks? Uh, not a whole lot going on here on this end. Just kind of getting over uh, uh, over a, a pretty gnarly, I don't know what it was, a virus or some type of bacterial infection. Had a pretty high fever all night, 102. Actually, I think I got up to 102.3, uh, the highest temperature. And uh, Missy Mimi's here had the same thing. Kind of got it toned down with some ibuprofen. But uh, I'm still kind of feeling some hot flashes come and go and just random sweating. So not for sure what it is. All I know is it was not cool. And I'm hopefully, uh, hopefully that was it. So uh, let's see what else we got here, folks. I think that'd be about it. Not a whole lot going on on this area of the world at all. Puerto Rico Trench. Looks like they may have had one little uh, earthquake along the trench in the, within the past few hours, but uh, things kind of mellow in that region of the of the world. But uh, some hot spots, folks. Pay attention to this area pretty closely. And uh, like I say, we had a bunch of earthquakes back to back there. A bunch of fives kick up. Uh, bouncing back and forth between these two regions and uh, ultimately I can't help but think what it's doing to this uh, uh, area as a whole all right guys uh, we'll chat at you a little bit later please stay safe out there and um, we will be sending out uh, some more decals here probably tomorrow I did send out a hundred of them on uh, uh, when was that Thursday so look for uh, Manila envelopes in the mail for those of you that did request some decals. And uh, we'll get some more out uh, tomorrow. All right, guys. Have a good night. Please stay safe out there and uh, be prepared.